Today on Be Something Wonderful, how to change your destiny by choosing it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from a new subscriber. I said, Tom, I really enjoyed these, these last few videos. And my question is on fate, fortune, and destiny. If the script has been written, is that the same thing as saying that that's fate? Or how does fate fit in? How does destiny fit in? How does, how does a fortune fit in? Well, guys, we're going to unpack this today and more. So here's what I want to say. Is it fate or fortune? What's the answer to this? It is neither when you are awake. When you are awake within your life, within your script, when you are conscious and consciously composing your reality, it's you, you're the master of your destiny. You're not, you're not um, destined to any certain fate or even any certain fortune. You create your own fortune, right? So let's go over this. The question, when you ask the, the question, is it, 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 is it fate or fortune? Is it, is it, is it destiny? Or, or maybe it's just my fate to struggle in life as an example, which I hear often. When you ask that question, the question comes from a linear 3D thinking and limited beliefs and viewpoints, right? It comes from uh, being unconscious, from following a script. It, it comes from it feel, that feeling of feeling like a victim, that like life is happening to you and not for you, right? Actually, ha life is not only happening for you, it's happening through you. As you, as it, you can't change the script that you're in, but you can, you can choose a new film role that then, you, then that film role comes with a new script. That's how you change your fate. That's how you change your destiny, right? Remember this thinking, this 3D linear thinking, it implies that there is some outside force imposing itself on you in your life, right? So don't fight the script trying to improve it. Be the improvement that you seek and move to another lifeline or another film role that includes a new script. It's never about fighting the script. It's never about fighting with life, right? In fact, you are the master of your destiny unless you are not. Hear this, unless you're unconscious, unless you're just, unless you're just unaware and then you're just gonna be led by the script. The script's gonna play out. That's what fate means. Let's go back to this drawing that we had in the last few videos. Here are your lifelines. There's an infinite number of them in alternative realities, right? This script cannot be changed on this lifeline. It's because you're in the current slide and you're trying to, you're trying to battle against the current slide and change the script itself that causes a life of struggle. That is the definition of fate. That, that yes, if you continue to be unconscious, to be unaware and not compose your reality, compose your future slide, imagine your wish fulfilled, then you're destined to live out that script. You're gonna be led by that script. That's what fate means, right? But you can master your destiny. You're destined for greater things because there's an infinite number of greater things to choose from. That's destiny. You are destined for great things. And here's the thing, you get to choose it. By lighting up that future side, by lighting up the future and moving to a new lifeline that has an entirely new script. Again, if you, you can't change the script, but it will play out according to, according to the lifeline or the film role that you chose, right? That's what we're talking about. That's big. So let's go back to this. So the force is not only with you, but you are that force. You know, Star Wars when it says, may the force be with you. Well, it's not only with you, you are the force. Believe it, guys, this is big. So the idea of fate is the idea that the script has been written and you will live out the script on a lifeline that you did not choose. That's true unless you choose a new film role, unless you choose a new lifeline by illuminating your future, by lighting up your future by imagining something different and then moving to it. That's big, right? Script in this case equals your fate, right? That script is your fate, but you can change your fate by lighting up your future and moving to a new film role which has a new script. Do you hear this, guys? The film role equals your lifeline, right? While this is true, 
right? That, that this is, well, this is true, that you can't change the script or your fate on any one particular film role or lifeline. You can choose a new film role or lifeline that therefore comes with a new script or a new fate. This is big. You are only destined to a predetermined fate within a specific script. If you are, remain unconscious, if you remain unaware, if you let yourself be led by that, right? You think you're taking, even the actions that you take within a certain script, they're an illusion. The script's gonna play out. This, it's already been written. It's already been edited. The edits are on the floor. It's done, right? So any actions you take, any force you exert, right? Uninspired actions, right? Or you take actions and then you have to take more actions to correct those actions. They call those compensatory actions. Anything you take, you're just going to get further entrenched in that script. You can't get out of it that way. How do you do it? By lightening up. By, by lighting up your future. That's how you lighten up. That's enlightenment. Light up your future. Light up that future frame, right? Choose a new film role. You're only destined to a predetermined fate within a specific script or film role if you're una unaware, if you're, if you're unaware, if you're not awake. You can choose a new fate by choosing a new film role or new lifeline. That's big. So let's continue to unpack this. Unless you wake up and become conscious and begin composing your reality, the script carries you along a film role you didn't choose. Hear this, right? Because remember, the more you fight that current frame or that current script, the more entrenched you get in that script. That's why reality seems to get from bad to worse. That's why it seems like nothing changes, right? It's never, remember that, that current slide that you're in, we talked about this, right? This is your current if you look at this, this is the current moment, but that's always shifting. That blue slide's always moving to the next slide, to the next current moment. That's already past. As soon as that's illuminated, it's already past, right? You've got to go ahead and illuminate the future, right? So you're always fighting the past. Not only is what you see in 3D reality an illusion, hear this, this is big. The, and again, this comes from that book. I'm going to leave a link below. I, I forgot to leave it in the, the last video. I will, I will update that. It comes from the book of Vadim Zeeland, right? Not only is what you see in 3D an illusion, the things you do are illusions. It's all preordained by the script unless you wake up. The, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to follow that script unless you wake up, unless you become aware and then, and then illuminate the future flight and move with the frame to a new film role, right? So he, he, this is what Vadim suggests. Ask those questions. Who, who am I? Where am I? right? That, that wakes you up as well, right? And then all the action you take is within the current frame. That is already passed. That's why action's an illusion. All the action you're taking is within the current frame. It's trying to fight and escape the current reality. It's all an illusion. It, 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 it's illusionary action, right? When you wake up within the film and illuminate your future frame, Picking and choosing a new film role from the Eternity Archive, you become the master of your destiny. That's how to change your destiny by choosing it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Share, uh, guys, share our channel with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers, with others. That's how we grow. That's how we spread our message to the world. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or be something wonderful.com, or write me anytime at info at be something wonderful.com. I always love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love and great light, this is Tom. See you soon.